If you're a language teacher or a language student and you don't know what the magic button is in Google Translate, then this is the video for you. I'm currently studying my fourth language, which is Polish, and I can tell you that the magic button and connecting it to a couple of other free AI tools has completely transformed the way that I learn languages. Now, I have made an introduction video to the uh, magic button, which has proved very popular, and I'll put that on the screen in case you wanna watch that. But in this video, I'm gonna take the idea a little bit further and show you exactly how I study languages. Really hope you like the video, and as always, if you do, please like it, please share it, please comment on it, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. Let's get started. So in the last video, I showed you how the magic button works in Google Translate, and then I connected it to Quizlet and to Natural Readers, which are two great technologies for language learning, and they're both free. In this one, I wanna take the idea a lot further. So the first thing we need to do is come over to our apps. So we do need to be logged into Google, click on Google Apps and choose this one here, Translate. Now I'm learning Polish and I speak English. Obviously for you, it could be completely different. Just click and choose your languages. You can see there's absolutely tons of languages. So I'm gonna paste in here a phrase in Polish that I don't understand. And it's gonna give me the equivalent in English. Now what a lot of people don't realize is that you can then click on this button here, which kind of saves your translation into almost like a kind of list of all of the vocabulary that you are currently studying. Now, if you wanna see your list, just click here on saved, and it will open up all of the words that you are currently studying. And you'll see that I've saved 15 phrases in total. Now, if you wanna unsave any words, just click on them and that will delete them from your list. And also, if you wanna delete the complete list, you can actually just click up here and clear all saved. Now, the thing is this, how do you actually decide on the phrases that you want to add into your Google Translate? I'm gonna show you now an incredible technique that I use to help me to actually decide the vocabulary that I wanna study, and I'm gonna show you exactly my method. Always remember one thing, you can listen to the pronunciation of the words as well by just clicking here. Chcę promować wydarzenie. Which is really useful. And even if you're looking at your list of words, you can actually just click here on each one and listen to it. And often I do that as a kind of way of just going through the vocabulary that I'm currently studying. But now let me show you this amazing technology that I use alongside Google Translate. Now I often use YouTube videos to study languages. And then what I do is I use a special tool that extracts the transcript from the video so that I can then study that transcript. And any phrases or sentences that I don't understand, I can bring them into Google Translate and obviously add them to the magic button. So what I'm gonna do is, first of all, I'm gonna jump over and just grab a video from YouTube. And I'll actually do this in Polish so you can really see how I study other languages. So let's imagine I wanted to study this video. And if you are learning Polish, this is a great channel to use and one that I use all the time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this video, so I'm gonna copy it here, and then I'm gonna come over to my favorite technology, which is a free technology called TurboScribed. So this is my favorite technology for learning languages. It's called TurboScribe.ai, and what it does is it extracts the whole transcript very accurately from any YouTube video. And then it allows you to generate activities around that particular video, including summaries, vocabulary, etc. Now, if I just quickly click on the open dashboard, and before I show you how it works, I'm just gonna show you the last example, and you can see how often I'm using this technology, okay? And I normally use it for one or two videos. As you can see, I'm using it almost like every couple of days. Now, if I click here, just to show you the last example I did, you can see that I've got the audio, so it extracts the audio for you, which you can even download, but it also extracts the whole of the transcript from that video, which gives you the opportunity then afterwards to study the vocabulary and do lots of activities. And that's what I'm gonna show you in a minute. 
Okay, it's gonna to start to get interesting now because I'm gonna show you how to use TurboScribe and then how you can generate loads of content around TurboScribe, including link it into Google Translate in several ways. Really hope you're liking the video, and if you do, please click on the like button because it really helps me. And the other thing is, many people ask me, how do I make my videos? Well, actually, I do have another channel called Screencast Guru, where I show people how I make my videos and how I built up my YouTube channel. And if you wanna learn about that, I'll put a link to the channel on the screen now, but we're gonna carry on with TurboScribe. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna click on TurboScribe on the icon here. I'm gonna click on Transcribe File. Remember, I've already copied the link at the top of the YouTube video. It's a good idea to choose your language. Notice that this works in absolutely tons of languages, and I've used it in Spanish, French, and now Polish. So I'm gonna choose Polish, and all I need to do is click on this button here and add the link into the video. Now, occasionally, occasionally, there are a couple of videos that it doesn't accept. I'm not quite sure why, to be honest with you, but this one is gonna be absolutely fine. Now, always choose Whale. That gets the highest and most accurate transcript, and these transcripts are way better than you will find uh, on YouTube, and then click on the Transcribe button, and this is where the magic is going to happen so you can see the transcript is already ready and it will show you a tick there once it's complete and it actually kind of shows you the percentage as it's transcribing the text click here and a couple of things really useful first of all if you now click on this button and you can click over here or if I click here it will probably do the same thing Nie uwierzysz, dostałam pracę w Australii. Naprawdę? Bardzo często słyszymy to słowo. Naprawdę. Bardzo często też go używamy nie tylko. Now that's absolutely great, okay, because I can see it highlighted as I'm reading the text. And in fact, if I come over here, I can even slow the speed down a little bit, which is something I often do because I like to work with kind of native language uh, when studying Polish, and so often they speak too quickly. Now let's start to look then at some of the magic features that we can use. So let's say that there are some phrases that I want to put into Google Translate because I don't understand them. So I'm working through this and suddenly I've got, say for example, this phrase here and I don't understand it. Good idea is to turn your volume down while you do this. I'm just gonna copy, for example, that phrase. I'm now gonna copy that. I'm gonna jump over to Google Translate. I'm gonna paste that in. So I'm gonna delete that one because I've already saved it. Paste it in. And suddenly now I've got that word in Google Translate. And of course I can add it to my list of words that I'm currently studying. So that is a really useful way now because I'm linking all the words that I'm currently studying in Google Translate to a video that I'm interested in learning. So I do that, I work through the video, and as I'm playing it through, if I come across a phrase that I don't understand, I can simply just kind of copy that phrase, okay, and you can right click and copy, or just press Control C, jump over to Google Translate, okay, so I've saved that word already, so I can now click here and paste in the next one, and I'll save it. Now I try to limit it to around 15 words, I don't like to save too many words in one go, but that's the first thing that I do. It's a great way of me being able to extract the phrases that I need to learn so that I can then understand this audio file and this video more effectively. However, there's something else I can do. Just a super quick break from the video, just to say if you do like the video, then please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There are loads more free videos on the site. I specialize in making videos that show language teachers how to use technology. One other thing, if you sign up to the newsletter at the moment, then you will get a free 14 part course where I show you some of the key technologies that we can use in language teaching. There really are no tricks, nearly everything that I highlight is free. That was all, let's get back to the video. Okay, so we know we can get the audio, we know we can study the words, we know we can get the transcript. Now the transcript will be very accurate. It might not be perfect. If you've got an audio file with a lot of background noise, it can obviously affect it, but it's gonna be much more accurate than YouTube. But, but watch this now. I'm gonna come over to the right-hand side and I'm gonna click on Download Docs. I'm just gonna click on that button. And all that is gonna do is actually open up 
the whole of that transcript into a Word file. And that will be saved in my downloads. Now, if I come over, watch this, and I'm going to just open up ChatGPT. Now, you could do this in lots of these kind of large language models. If I now clicked on the plus button here and chose to upload a file from my computer, and I'm going to go to the downloads. Remember, when you download the transcript, it will be in your downloads. And just click there and click on open. Now, the whole of that transcript is inside ChatGPT. And there are lots of things now that I could do to get it to generate more activities for me. Let me show you some examples. Now, let me give you some examples now that you've got this document inside ChatGPT, or it could be Google Gemini, or it could be Copilot. I'm going to say, can you extract eight useful phrases in Polish, because obviously I want these uh, from the transcript. Now, you don't have to give these instructions in English. If you're speaking another language, of course, you can give the instructions in that language. But I'm asking for the, the phrases in Polish. And if I click on this button here, it's now going to give me some really useful phrases. Now, of course, I could ask for the translation of those phrases if I wanted. Okay, so if I want to, I can just say, for example, can you provide me with the translations of those phrases into English? And now it will also give me the translations as well. Okay, so really, really useful. All right, now if I come down here and let's just try another activity, I'm going to say, can you write a summary? of the transcript in Polish. Okay, now this is really useful for me because I've already listened to the video, I've studied the vocabulary. What a brilliant idea to get a summary of that video. Now I'm gonna show you an amazing trick that we can do with that summary. Now, once we've got the um, summary, we could actually listen to this summary in Polish, okay? So what I'm gonna do, and I could copy the whole thing by just clicking here, I'm just gonna copy an extract from it. So let's say I wanted to kind of study this first bit here. I'm just gonna copy that. I'm gonna come over to a free technology called Love Voice. And all I'm gonna do is paste in that text, okay? Come down here below, and all I need to do is to choose Polish. Now, with each language, you get several voices that you can use. So I'll need to scroll through here and look how many languages are available. So whatever language you're speaking, you should find that you can actually get the transcript. So I've clicked on Polish. And now what I'm going to do is come here and I'm going to choose either Zofia or Marek. And I'll be quite happy with Marek. And the great thing now is I can actually listen to that summary being read out. Let's just give that a bash. I'm going to click on this button here and it will generate the audio. Let's listen to it. Transkrypcja przedstawia różne sposoby na powiedzenie naprawdę w języku polskim. Autorka, nauczycielka języka polskiego, Omawia pięć nieformalnych synonimów tego słowa. Okay, so that's absolutely brilliant, but even better than that, I can actually cop download that audio as well. So this means, and of course I could have done the same with the sentences. I could have, for example, copied those sentences, okay, and then pasted them into Love Voice and obviously listen to the sentences being read out. Now, if you want to learn more about Love Voice, I'll put a video on the screen that you can watch now about Love Voice, and I show you, for example, techniques for pronunciation, etc. Okay, so you're really getting an idea now of how I study languages and how I kind of work with the video and I extract the vocabulary and I work with the transcript. And then I do lots of activities. I, for example, get it ChatGPT to do a summary, to give me the list of vocabulary, to give me the list of phrases. I sometimes get ChatGPT to make an exercise for me. You can ask it to make a multiple choice exercise based on the transcript or, for example, a gap fill activity or a match activity it will actually do all of that if you give it the instructions and that way you can kind of study all the language around that video and then go back and watch the video again and I'm kind of doing this quite a lot so I would be working with a video studying lots of things and then going back 
and watching the video again and hopefully I'll understand more and that's exactly what is happening. Now I'm going to recommend one final technology, it's called WordWall, it allows you to make lots and lots of games and activities. Uh, it's kind of for teachers but it's also really useful for students and I use it all the time and if you want to learn about WordWall I'll put that video on the screen. Don't forget if you liked this video please like it, it really helps me with the channel and thank you very much. Okay, okay, really hope, hope you like the video, the video. And, and if you, you do, please, please come, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's hundreds more videos on the website. There's a really popular section on teaching and using AI. I specialise in, in making videos to help language teachers use technology. If you want to sign up to the newsletter, then that way you can keep up with all the latest videos, the free webinars that we run, the courses that we run, etc. And at the moment, if you sign up to the newsletter, there is a special 14-part free course that you'll be sent. You'll be sent a video about every three or four days that really just focuses on the most popular technologies on my YouTube tab channel that teachers have reacted to. And that really builds up into a really nice course and gives you a strong basis in using technology in language teaching. It's completely free and literally everything that I show you uh, is a free technology. If you'd like to have live training with me, then think about joining me on Patreon. On Patreon, for $6 a month, you get three free videos from me each month without any advertisements in them. But the important thing is those videos are connected to a monthly webinar that we have where we meet live. And we normally work with the technology that we focused on that month, or sometimes it's two technologies. And we do activities and really learn to use those technologies well, so that then you can try those out in class or online with your students. The other interesting thing about joining me on Patreon is that actually you get access to all of the backdated material. So there's over a year of videos and live training, this training is very practical with lots and lots of ideas about things that you can do in the class or online with your students teaching languages. So it's much more practical than the YouTube videos and you get that as part of the $6 a month. Okay, I'm going to leave some more videos on the screen that I think you might find useful.